Well, anyone who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calvon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. He ain't get worse. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some head space in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Might be long now, folks. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tom Espinal. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Well, Tommy Aspinall's fans travel well as we get to some early action here. A lot of people believe that this is the future of the heavyweight division, arguably the best submission artist in this division at present, and he believes he's going to be able to get this fight to the floor rather easily here tonight. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is striking four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Aspinall's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by one. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Great job blocking that shot. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Swing and a miss with that punch by Aspinall. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, nice. Big power shot there. 
And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this effort. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Big elbow there. In the half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, reverses the position there. Nice transition by Aspinall. Now he's going full mount. Aspinall's going for an arm here. Oh, that's tight. Oh, he's going to submit it. Oh, he caught oh, it. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get so. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Under two minutes to go in our first round. This is a terrible position. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. And there you go, again, half guard. Aspinall's back in full mount. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack an arm bar. This is a very big advantage position for this fight. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Aspinall. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Setting up another submission. Looks like a pretty good attempt here. Back out. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. It's been a bit of a grappling offensively, but also defensively. What a round it was for him, DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Lead kick landed there by Aspen. So the commitment to the takedown pays off after several failed attempts. He finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Oh, right into Mount. Aspinall's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Neon belly, big strikes, landing here. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Aspinall. Yep, got 
Got to be very careful there. Keep that top position and work your elbow. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Aspinall's back in full match. That was a slick transition. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Aspinall's now dealing with a cheat cut. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, you better start doing something defensively. Line these knees are landing to the box. I mean, it is going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and is just driving knees into your body. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Clinch work. Aspinall's eye is closing up. Oh, left hook to the head. It's flopped. Takedown defense holds up. A nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't sit great timing on that double leg. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Look at him. He's starting to punish him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he slams him down. He uses great power to escape that triangle choke. Great job. Great technique. I mean, great physicality. Yeah. By the and just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? He passed the half guard. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Beautiful transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, that looks tight. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not gonna help the smell on those hips. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. And yet another takedown by Espinal. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. Oh. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Pretty good jab there by Aspen. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Trying to get the knees going. Submission attempt here. Jim. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another strike gets through from the top position. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Espinal. He passes the half. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe try to get to a choke position here, DC. That was nice. There it is. Now he's running out. Good work from the top here by Espinal. Oh, oh. Watch the arm here. Oh, arms in tight. Oh, you better tap or that thing's going to snap. He's got it isolated. Look at how intent he is to finish the show. Oh, he bails on the submission now. He's well, he's, he's got his back up. now. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he got to the spot. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Aspinall is right back to the full mount here. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Ref won't help you here. Just like the referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Nice. Nicely done. Leg kick well, my favorite strike. Well, he is clearly faded in the... Oh! Body shot! Now we're going! Oh! Beautiful combination to get the knockdown. He's good work! Oh, he stops at the low! Oh, my God! What a fight! So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire, how about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level, it was amazing, John. We go right inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is going to continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, but they get the style points they sought by virtue of that TKO. Congratulations to the and still best of the big men.